Hey everybody, welcome to this fun little flea fly video we put together. We were recently on a family vacation in northern New Mexico. Uh, there was two families of us and we wanted to come and spend some time in the mountains while the kids were out of school and uh, we got to do some fishing while we were up there. Uh, this little creek right here is actually just below the town of Red River, New Mexico and I think Hayden caught the first trout that I've ever seen caught on a go-go minnow. Hey, we also caught some trout up in the public fishing ponds in Red River, and we caught some smallmouth bass over on the Rio Grande River. If you want to catch more fish, learn how to use that go-go minnow, and remember, the tail never quits turning. We caught it here in New Mexico. The go-go minnow is a brand new bait, so it hasn't been out very long. And we caught a lot of smallmouth on them the other day. Hayden just, Hayden just caught one on a go-go minnow. There's a bunch right down there. Hayden? A bunch. Hey. Now, uh, tell everybody how you were fishing the go-go minnow. I just casted it out by a brush pile down there, and then I just let sink for about, just let sink and hit the bottom, and then I reeled it in real slow. <laughs> okay. So you just reeled it in real slow? Yeah. Which one is that? Electric chicken. Okay, let's hold him up so you can show everybody. Get a good look at your trout. Man, that's awesome. Okay, we're going to get some pictures and then we're going to go up there and see if you can catch another one, okay? Okay. Get another one, bud? Yeah. What happened there? Tell everybody how you caught him. I twisted in right there by that pile again and reeled it in real slow when he hit it. Another rainbow. Looking good. Let's see if you can get another one. Oh, there he is. Good job, Slim. There it is, folks. Proof pudding that uh, all you need to do to catch more trout and little waters here in these uh, Rocky Mountains and places where they stock these little little trout. Get you a little go-go minnow. Boy, he's a frisky little dude. Hold him up, Slim, so we can get the get a shot of him. There it is, the one-inch go-go minnow in the electric chicken color with a flea fly lead free head and uh, we were wanting to come field test these here on our family vacation and they work don't they yeah they do hey this is gonna be a great little flea fly video we appreciate everybody watching our videos I'm gonna hand the uh, camera over to Slim real fast and I'm gonna go through step by step with how Slim picked out this spot this is a public fishery anybody can come out here and catch these trout and we wanted to bring the go go minnow to New Mexico to field test it all Hayden is doing is using the uh, 16th ounce flea fly head lead free head and he's got a one inch electric chicken on that and the boys are walking up and down the stream right here and Slim came across this brush pile get a shot of that and he thought man there might be some trout in that brush pile right there this is a nice clear little creek so the first couple casts, he just pitched it in right there, and those trout came out of that brush pile, and they grabbed the go-go minnow. Now the last one he caught, he came around the back side of it, and he pitched it into the back side of the brush pile, and that trout came out of there and grabbed the go-go minnow. Nothing hard about this, folks, but once you get started using the go-go minnows, I promise you, you're going to catch more fish. These are the fish-catchingest little dudes you have ever 
uh, tied on your fishing rod, whether you're fishing for crappie, bass, trout, I tell you, you can't go wrong with a go-go minnow. Thanks for watching our videos. I'm Jeff Williams with Outdoor Brands and Flea Fly. Man, that, everything loves that thing. Even the carp will eat that thing, Dad. <laughs>